This is a review for the Gatorbacks, a new deck of playing cards from David Blaine, illustrated by Mark Stutzman. As you can see, the tuck case has a lot of intricate detail. It has a black color with black foil on top of it, making for a very nice effect. Here's the bottom, and the top has this little stamp thing. Taking a look on the inside, Inside of the box, it's black, and it has this thing here. The back design for this deck is really nice. As you can see, there's a lot of detail in here, and it's printed in a green metallic ink. That's what the cards look like. And the faces also have metallic ink. I don't know if you can see, but that red is a metallic red ink as well as the court cards, the gold part really stands out. Aside from the pretty red metallic ink, these standard cards are pretty standard. The court cards feature unique artwork on many of the faces. And the queens. I was wondering if this is supposed to be some sort of reveal. And as per other David Blaine decks, if you go to the King of Spades, you will see David Blaine's likeness. However, what's new this time is the King of Diamonds features Daniel Madison. And the aces are pretty normal, except for the Ace of Spades, which has an awesome design. It's an alligator jumping out of the water, about to bite this bird. The extra cards of the deck include two jokers, which are most likely a tribute to his pet alligator and his daughter. The other two extra cards include a blank-faced card, as well as this very strange-looking card here with this guy's brain. I'll probably just use this card to practice back palming. But how do the cards handle? Well, they actually handle very well. They have a good grip on the edges. They dribble well. They have good spring. Nice substantial card stock. And they fan nice too.
And in case you were curious, here is what the brick box looks like. On the back side, it's got that thingy from inside of the tuck case. So in summary, that's the Gatorbox deck. The cards handle really well. It's nice to have the blank faced card. The artwork on the Jokers is very nice. And the tuck box is one of the most amazing boxes I've ever seen as far as boxes go. One other thing is on David Blaine's website, he claims this deck has hidden features built into it that he'll leave for us to discover. I'm assuming he means something besides the stack, but I've been looking very closely at the card back and I do not see anything that resembles any kind of marking or special feature. So if anyone figures that out, feel free to let me know.